All right, YouTube. This is John. And I'm Sam. And we're here for a third battery test in three weeks. Holy moly. Absolutely. It's our all-style battery test. You've already seen from us our real racing test, high-intensity gaming, how that affects our phones. Then we have Pokemon Go, the latest craze. Everyone loves it. We love it. I mean, level 21. Come on. Come oh, level me. 19. Come oh, well. So close. Close. Anyway, you can watch those right here. But today, this time, we're checking out YouTube videos. We all like watching YouTube. You might be watching YouTube on your phone this very second. You might be, but how is that affecting your battery life? This is what this test is gonna show you, the best top phone for battery life when watching YouTube. Let's jump into it and find out who wins. And they're off. So, right, to recap, we've got the Apple iPhone 6S Plus, the HTC 10, the LG G5, the Nexus 6P, the OnePlus 3, and the, uh, the pretty strong Samsung S7 Edge. Absolutely, it, it's been our victor in the previous two tests. It'll be interesting to see if it can repeat the trick for the third time. I'm gonna say probably will. It's, I don't see any reason why it should fall behind too much. Three of the phones here are using AMOLED displays, which are more power efficient. That's the S7 Edge, the OnePlus 3, and the Nexus 6P. The other three, G5, HT10, and 6S Plus, are using LCD screens, which are slightly more power hungry. So it'll be interesting to see if that affects anything in the running as well. Uh, a lot of them have QHD screens, all of them, in fact, apart from the OnePlus 3 and the 6S Plus, which are both full HD displays. Now, looking at the running order, at the moment, the Samsung is out in the lead. Uh, and it's the iPhone which is starting to fall behind quite a lot, which is quite surprising. It's not been quite this bad on previous tests, but it, it seems to be struggling. Yeah, considering it's basically been superior in its optimization over the last two tests, it struggles so hard uh, so early on. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. And it's neck and neck really between sort of the OnePlus 3, the Nexus 6P and the G5. They all sort of swapping positions and, and, and draining at a relatively similar rate. Although as the test moves on, the LG G5 does start to fall away and the HTC 10 is putting in a rather disappointing performance as well in general. So Sam, just quickly, how did we do this test? Okay, so we've taken all the phones fully charged, we've put them at full brightness, we've put them all on the same Wi-Fi connection and we've put them all through the same playlist at the same time. Now we have to appreciate here that uh, some phones will buffer, there'll be adverts that slightly take up a little bit of time here and there, so they won't all end up at the same spot by the end of the six hours, or if they make it to six hours, but it's as fair as we can get it for this test. Superb, and we've got our first death. It's the iPhone 6S How Plus. How about that? Solid five hours of cat videos. <laughs> I mean, that's something for the people out there who, who indulge in that sort I of entertainment. I worry that's not enough for some people though, yeah, but I, there we go. And it, I'm surprised as well. You'd think it would last a bit longer. The Apple has its own chipset. It's, a, it's built everything from the ground up in its own house. Uh, and then speeding through to the sixth hour mark, we actually only get one other fatality, and that is... HTC 10. Which has been another disappointment. It's proven very positive in the last two tests we've done, and now it's finishing fifth, uh, albeit only 16% behind uh, the LG G5. It's still a big shame. And yeah, yeah the other four phones have got to six hour mark where we've stopped our test and they're all still alive. So the, the final running order is the LG G5 in fourth, the Nexus 6P in third, the OnePlus 3 in second, and the Samsung S7 Edge in first. So John, yeah, pretty surprising results considering the last two tests we've done. Uh, it's, it's basically a complete flip reverse. It is pretty much, obviously. Taking the Samsung out of the equation, we know it's got a great battery life. It's smashing these tests at the moment, but it's the second and third place, which is the really interesting thing. OnePlus 3 and Nexus 6P putting in top performances. And we're trying to work out why they've done so well here and they have it in our previous tests. And I'm looking at screen technology this time. The top three phones, the Samsung, the Nexus, and the OnePlus, they all have AMOLED displays. Now, that means when it's showing blacks, it doesn't fire any of the pixels, thus fewer pixels are fired, and you're saving power. There's not really much else going on in the background. The videos can buffer ahead of them playing, so that helps in terms of Wi-Fi dependence. Once it's done, it's done. They can move away from that. There's no pinging of the GPS like there was in the Pokemon Go video, and there's no sort of high-end graphics to contend with like in the real racing test. So for these sort of more standard sort of conditions maybe for smartphones, the AMOLED display could well be really helping the smartphone battery. Don't forget to leave your comments below, like, subscribe, let us know what other battery tests you'd love to see. Is there anything else you'd like us to put these phones through? And thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again very soon.